Here's my third and my character positioning videos, and here we're going to talk about where a character is placed in a frame in certain shots and what those tend to mean when you place a character on the top of the frame versus the left, the right side, the center, and the bottom. The following analysis is going to be about 50, 60, 70% true, not always true. You always have to look at context. That's my warning to you. Always observe a shot within a context of a film or a scene or you know an act of a movie before you just jump in and say this is what this means because when i tell you the top of the frame what the top of the frame is doing that's not always true when you place a character at the top of a frame but let's talk about that sometimes and a lot actually a lot of times when you put a character at the top of the frame and you have another character somewhere else in the frame usually below the character at the top of the frame is dominating they're in a position of authority and power because they're naturally and literally above the other characters towering over them maybe lording it over them maybe the camera angle is distorting this but you you have a character who is more dominant than other characters in the frame or other characters in the scene if you look at this shot from stagecoach for example where you get the whole old group of characters you have the sheriff at the top and also the john wayne character i know that they're more in the distance but because this is arranged vertically in my opinion you see who the more dominant characters are versus who the less dominant characters are just in terms of top and bottom of the frame going up versus going down of course this is not always true i do have to warn you just putting people at the top of the frame sometimes it just naturally it's just a way to shoot the, the scene and it's a reasonable practical thing so it's not always symbolic not only, always does it have this sort of meaning to it but a lot of classical films that's anything made between you know 19 teens all the way up to the present day mainstream Hollywood fair use this kind of idea that the top is naturally higher and better than other parts of the frame the bottom by contrast is similar it's the exact opposite of the top where if you place a character on the bottom especially have their head and their neck near the very bottom of the frame they are lower they're being marginalized pushed down they are literally low and that can indicate subservience lacking power being vulnerable not having you know what not getting what they want for example and being lorded over by characters who are above them in fact to me it's pretty rare to see a character near the bottom and only have the bottom half of them or even just a little bit of them show up near the bottom of the frame i think it's pretty important and more likely the case when you see a character at the bottom of the frame that this is what it's going to mean now the center of the frame is naturally the place where a human eyeball a viewer is going to look first the center is the center of things it is the focal point or it's a place of prominence a place where you can you know indicate that something is important and that's where people will look naturally usually at the center region the left center the exact center of the right center you see a lot of characters who are important and we want to identify with them and see them as individuals who are our friends or someone we should accept or someone we should at least listen to placed a lot of times in the right center or the left center of the frame. These are usually places of extreme importance in a movie and prominence. Regarding the exact center, sometimes that's great and sometimes that's not. It can be a little eerie to have things too symmetrical and thus this may be some kind of warning about a character or they're too vulnerable or something bad is going to happen. Too much symmetry is usually offsetting. We usually like the rule of thirds where a character is in the right center and then you have sort of two thirds to the left of them or vice versa. Now we've talked about the top, bottom, and center let's look at the left and right and because these are on the margins literally of the frame whether it's a 1.33 or 1.85 or any aspect ratio you put a character especially with widescreen ratios at the at the edges of a frame on the far right far left sides you're indicating their marginality although as I said this is not always true sometimes putting them out to the side that can mean they're insignificant they're worthless they're less important than what's in the middle and they're literally being marginalized thus they're symbolic being marginalized I also find the far left side sometimes like in a horror movie or suspense movie indicates when the characters over there early in the movie it means they're evil or they're up to no good or there's trouble coming for that character the left side for whatever human reason being worse than the right side that could probably happen sometimes with the right side but the left side in particular is is one of the worst places to be usually in a classical movie especially like a horror movie a detective movie and so on and last i should mention there are a lot of times where characters are not in the frame at all and that is of extreme importance when the director puts things outside the frame not even putting them in any region of the frame very important and worth knowing what's in the frame and what's not in the frame and when something important is not in the frame boy is there a lot of mystery suspense and intrigue 
created when you leave something off the frame that should be on the frame. Now, to help myself out as a viewer, sometimes I think of a frame within a frame, especially for widescreen movies, which definitely for the left and right sides, can, can spread things out and do a lot with the far left and right sides. That frame within a frame gives me an idea of what the center is and what the margins are, but top, bottom, left, and right, and so that I can see what objects are out there beyond the frame within a frame versus what's in it. Clever director will show me what's important and then indicate what's not so important, but then sometimes will subvert those. One of my favorite science fiction films, for example, is Children of Men, in which the margins, the backgrounds are more important. The wider world of the film is, I think, one of the stars of the film, not the star of the film, whereas the characters in the middle, sometimes shown prominently in the center of the frame, well, their journey and their stories are important. The world is really interesting in this movie, which is usually placed on the edges, usually the left and right and the bottom of the screen. Now, as always, I'm not sure if this film grammar is universal to humanity in the medium of film or if it's just merely conventional and it's been developed out of 20th and 21st century norms and it might change over time. We'll see. We'll see if the center of the frame is always more important. But I think in the history of painting, we can clearly see that middles have some value or some place of prominence or importance that may continue on in film and last a little while in terms of film, TV, and, and video in general. So what do you think of this video? What do you think of character positioning? And what movies have you seen that use this or subvert it? Let us know in the comments. Please subscribe to this channel for more great content. Thanks and have a great day.